For the last five years, I've worked as a full-time employee of the Try Guys. I've produced hundreds of podcast episodes. I have shot hundreds of videos for their main channel. <laughs> I've traveled the world, I won a Webby, and I've been proposed to by my boss in a variety of chain restaurants. So last week, after five years of dutiful employment, I quit my job and I wanted to hop on here to tell you why. I would imagine that the audience for this video, like a good amount of you are looking for that dirt, that tea, that good good, that yayo. The dirt on the Try Guys to get back on Twitter, to get another SNL sketch brewing. This is a little awkward to talk about, um, just because I've worked there for a long time, but I recently discovered that Keith has been harvesting Zach's organs and selling them on the black market. He's been using the organ money to dig a giant tunnel underneath Los Angeles that will connect the ocean to the LA River. Now, a lot of people are thinking, why would you want to do that? Because Keith and Ryan Seacrest are planning a secret once in a lifetime canoe trip to get from the LA River out to the Pacific Ocean. I don't know what their plans are after that. I imagine that they're gonna have fun on the boat together. When you're at a job, like any job for a long time, you're gonna have days that suck and then you're gonna have days that are fantastic. It's a job, baby. Nobody wants one. This was a job that I actually really, really, really enjoyed. There were days where I fed kangaroos out of the palm of my hand, and that was my job. That was my W-2. I ate food so expensive on the clock for the company that it gave me diarrhea. That's me clocked in as a W-2 employee for the full-time position. It wasn't all nice though. Like there was one day that I ended up working till three in the morning. Keith, our meal's here. Wow, thank you so much. Got bacon, wings, <laughs> what time is it, Keith? It's three times. <laughs> and when you get a dinner with your boss at three in the morning, that is actually on the company for the company. But this video is not gonna be all jokes. I'm actually gonna get quite real. <laughs> so real in fact that you're gonna get your waterworks ready because they're about to go off. I wouldn't have a career without Zach, Keith, and Eugene. They encouraged me, they invested their time, they gave me cash, and they gave me permission to be so unbelievably dumb on camera. I produced their flagship show, The Tripod. At the very end of every episode of The Tripod, I had a little segment where I would give bad advice. And it started as like a 60 second bit of me just being the dumbest thing possible. And over time, that evolved into me having like a mainstay presence on that show. Have you ever wanted to be a clean little baby boy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I had been at the company for five and a half years, so there were low points in that time. I mean, around a year ago, I almost quit my job. I was having a lot of difficulty with a certain member of the staff who was in charge of a lot of the business decisions of the company. And, you know, to avoid a defamation suit, I'll just say that I found this particular individual quite yucky. <laughs> Lucky for me, that guy was publicly shamed and ousted from his own company. So I stuck around for another year to have an absolute fucking ball with the remaining Try Guys. We had so much fun. Do you want to put this mug against your nipple? Yeah, let's put the mug against it. Well, how hot is it? That's gonna burn my nipple off. Are you out of your fucking mind? There's a lot of amazing people that I will really miss working with on a day-to-day -day basis at Try Guys. I mean, the staff is absolutely stacked and my favorite part of working there was being able to go in and someone's wearing a weird hat. And then we're all discussing, can I pull off a hat? It was a joy. Also a little over a year ago, I used my adopted audience to start my own show. It's called Perfect Person, it's called an advice show. People call me with their problems, they're like, oh, my roommate, me hooked up. And I'm like, that's crazy. That show and its Patreon have taken off in a way that I really never thought was possible for an independent project for myself. Because of this rare opportunity, I have decided to double down on my dreams and say no to a full-time job with healthcare to work in this little studio, tinkering around and making content. Come on, let me show you around. These are a bunch of glasses that I have to take home. Old computer, so many phones. I mentioned the Webby before and upon leaving, I absolutely did steal the Webby to have in my own studio.
Generic LED sign. I labeled these. Not only am I leaving Try Guys, but guys, I'm trying something of my own. Enter the holy trinity of perfection. Three perfect angles for me to dominate the biz. Angle one, perfect person. Continue doing my call and advice show as good as it can possibly be, but now I have more time to book guests, do crazy segments, and juice the Patreon, buddy. Obviously, it's the 420 bong cast. <laughs> wow, fuck. Oh, shit. I don't think I want George Bush to have good sex, and I'm sorry. Angle number two, perfect digital. That's right, I'm a skilled little boy who knows how to press go on a camera. I've been making banger TikToks, producing podcasts, directing and shooting YouTube videos, and in general, knowing the special sauce that's gonna make your content say, wow, now that's good content. If you wanna work with me, if you're a brand or a YouTuber that wants my sauce, then email this email address. Part three, perfect content. Before I worked at Try Guys, I worked at BuzzFeed for like six months, and before that, I was working at a coffee shop making espressos for the girlies. My entire professional experience has been making YouTube videos for other people, and now it's time I make YouTube videos for other meeple. Me, actually. And who am I? Am I a cool lady who goes to France on a whim to wear nice scarves? Or am I a chef who's a little too horny? You're gonna decide. I wanna make videos about problems. My problems, your problems, the internet's problems. Like, why do I have to get a little vanilla latte from a store? Why doesn't Miles just buy a weird little truck on Facebook Marketplace and go to your house to give you a little latte curbside? And then we'd cut to the footage if I had it, but I don't, I haven't shot it yet, but that's just one of the medium good ideas that you can expect from this channel. If we can bond together to like my content, I'll be rich enough to buy a houseboat. I'd like to share my joyful little worldview with you sickos, so together we can celebrate what it means to be a human being on this planet. So like and subscribe. Five years is a long time to be at any job. I started as a 24 year old beardless little weirdo, and I'm leaving as a married man that has a baby that just turned 30 last week. When the Dragon started the new company, I was hire number four or something. I remember working at this cramped little house where I was so afraid to take a shit in the bathroom because the bathroom was right next to the edit bay, and so my wife got me poo spray to spray in the toilet because I didn't want to stink up the whole joint as a PA. Because that's what my job was when I started. I was a production assistant, but it was a small company, so I was able to grow with it and then come to, you know, where I am now, where I'm leaving. It's hard to put a pin into exactly what Try Guys has meant to me over the last five years, because some days we would do videos that had such a meaningful impact to an organization or an identity or a group of people. And some days we would just go out into Los Angeles and do corporate chain restaurant espionage. It's a hard video to end. I, I don't really know how to end it, but I guess it's important that you guys know that I still will work with uh, the Try Guys and people who work there sometimes. I'm still gonna appear on the Tripod, their podcast, and I'll still be in their videos. I had Zach on my podcast, Perfect Person. That episode's coming out tomorrow. Inspired. Sorry, real quick, is that? That's an official try guy. Is that the one thing you stole? <laughs> what asked, do you mean? I asked you in office the other day. I'm like, are you going to steal something? And you said, what makes you say that I haven't already? Well, it's, is it stealing if it is an award with your name on it? That's a great point. <laughs> that is the one thing I stole. I'm, I'm happy As well as I stole like fifteen to twenty thousand dollars from your personal <laughs> bank account, but, uh, <laughs> but that was more of a slow trip. <laughs> a slow trip. After five and a half years of the try guys. I think it's time I try guys something new. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys next week.